So if you're navigating close to land, you can confirm, okay, those radar reflections that I'm seeing are the land or item objects such as navigation buoys that are reflected on my navigational chart. And radar is a very powerful tool. It can be used close in for a mile or two or less, or it can see out 50, 60 miles to see other vessels and other objects far away from you, islands, etc. So radar is a very powerful tool, but it can be a little confusing and it takes some time to understand how to use it to maximum effect. In Florida, we don't have a lot of fog. So most of the adverse conditions that people are boating in are either nighttime or reduced visibility due to rain or other weather conditions. In many conditions that you would encounter in South Florida boating, FLIR, which is that little camera next to the radar dome, is probably a better option. So FLIR is also an acronym. It stands for Forward Looking Infrared. And what a FLIR system does is it detects the smallest amount of heat coming off any object on the water. And every object on the water has an, a signature of heat, a heat signature. Even a block of ice, not something you're gonna encounter in Florida, but even a block of ice has a heat signature. So a FLIR camera, and we're, again, we're gonna show you some, some screenshots of what that looks like, essentially takes infrared light and converts it into a visual image. 